I spent $355 on everything that I'm going to show you. So I spent some money that, that day. Well, hello friends and welcome to the haul portion of today's video from Exit 76 Antique Mall. I kind of forgot where I was talking about there for a minute, but here we are, we're back. Exit 76 Antique Mall in Columbus, or no, in Edinburgh, Indiana. Oh, I love that place so much. I love it. If you are in the Edinburgh or Columbus, Indiana area, you must go in there and check them out. It's huge. Be, be prepared to be in there for several hours. It's huge. And there are so many things to see. And when you go in there and you're, you're buying things from these local, local vendors and you're just supporting small business, it's just a good thing all around. So make sure that you do go and visit Exit 76 Antique Mall in Edinburgh, Indiana, right off of Exit 76, right off of I-65. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I got because I got a lot. And let's just get started with this fun thing. Now, I spent $355 on everything that I'm going to show you. So I spent some money th that day. I did get a lot. Um, and um, if you are interested in any of these things, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. I will let you know if it's still available or if it's something that I'm saving to sell in a live sale. Okay, back to Lammy Boy. This is a cute little Lammy. And I don't want to say that, Are your, is your name on here, buddy? I don't think so, but he's a little like wobbly guy and his little, he's got little bells for hands and then squeaker alert. Okay, are we all ready? <laughs> he squeaks. He's so cute, a little baby toy. A lot of people have these up on the shelves and they are adorable. So I got him. I'm gonna say he doesn't stand up very well. You kind of have to lean him up against something. Oh no. Yeah. He doesn't stand up very well, but he's super cute. You can lean him up against something and he'll be just fine. All right. Oh, I don't think I got any other baby toys, but I did get some babies. I did. I got all three of these babies. Now, I am keeping these, just FYI. I think, is this the only thing I'm keeping? No. There's one other thing I'm keeping. Two other things I'm keeping. There's a couple things that I'm keeping. And I'll show you those things first. So the things I'm showing you now are not available. The babies I am keeping. The first one is this big boy baby. Now, I have a lot of these little celluloid babies and cupies, but I do not. I have mainly girls. I don't have a lot of boys, like, that are specifically a boy. I love his little knobby knees. He's super duper cute. His coloring is really good. So I'm keeping him. And then I got this little cupie with these wee arms. Wee! He's cute. He's made in Japan. I'm keeping you too, baby. And then I got this little cupie. Look at those lashes. He was a wheel butt. Keeping you too. This, let me introduce you to a, a new friend of ours who you may see quite often, especially when I'm doing some sales with a certain um, reseller friend of mine named Sarah, the Traveling Button, who has a YouTube channel that you should subscribe to. She also... Um, has live sales on Instagram, and we, she has a little feller named BK, who is actually the belligerent Cupie. Well, I have found BK a buddy, and this is RK, or Romantic Cupie. Hey guys, you like my heart? Now, only BK and RK can converse with one another. So the only time that you'll necessarily see RK will be when he is in cahoots with BK. So stay tuned for some upcoming sales with Sarah the Traveling Button so you can see these two little guys and all of their antics. Super fun. All right, I'm keeping those. I'm also keeping the sheet music. I have a gallery wall that I change out with vintage sheet music and I liked the colors in these and so um, I paid $2 a piece for these, but this is anything to hold your baby. Uh, Con Conrad. This, she, she's chasing after her man. And then this one, I love the colors. I think like for September when I change out my gallery wall, so I like to change them for different times of year. Um, onesie, twosie, I love Yuzi. Adorable. 
So I am keeping those. I'm also keeping her. This is an angel for the top of your Christmas tree. I absolutely love her. I'm going to see if my husband can rewire her. Her wire has been cut. So I'm going to see if he can rewire her because I'm going to use her. She lights up. Her wand lights up. She is just so fabulous. So I, I'm going to see if we can get her, we can get her glowing again. And then I'm also keeping, now I'm keeping this for a while because this spring and summer, well this summer really, um, I have a display in my house of these uh, vintage pails. And I got this one, this is Ohio Art. I love a good Ohio Art lithograph. It's got the little fishies on it. There's the Ohio Art logo. This side has some wear, but this side does not. So that's the side that I will display. So I am keeping that bucket for a while. And then I am keeping, is this the last thing I'm keeping? Let me double check. Oh no, there's one more thing that I'm keeping. I have to clear it off a little bit, but there is one more thing. All right, I'm keeping right. this because I have a shelf in my bathroom that I keep like kind of weird things on. And I just like this little, this little dish. You can keep, it's, you can keep your vitamins for your health in there. And it's got a little spoon. Do you have powdered vitamins? I don't know, but I liked it. It was weird and different. So that's going to go on the shelf in my bathroom. And then the last thing that I am keeping is this shelf. I am going to keep this shelf. I love this. This was $12. Um, I'm going to spray paint it a nice fun color so I can display some of my little, my little pretties on here. So this is going to be going home with me and I'm going to get it all jazzed up and colorful and hang it in my house. Now everything I'm going to show you is available for purchase. So you can send me an email or it will be available during an upcoming live sale. All right, I got a big strawberry. <laughs> big strawberry. I'm still having a hard time reading the bottom. It's kind of m muddy and muddled. I just, I, I just can't read what it says. It's a little uh, strawberry biscuit jar. Very cute. Great condition. There's no flaws on that. I also got a few linen pieces. And this, I know this is something that I looked at and I put it up. And I, and I looked at it and put it up. And then I decided, no, I'm just going to get it. Because it's so cute for a vintage kitchen. It's a little dress here. It looks like a little waitress dress, I think. But it's a little holder for your bills and your coupons. Your coupons. Otherwise known as coupons, but but isn't that cute? You can hang that up. It's got a little pocket here and a little pocket here. It's so adorable. But just the apron has the pocket. So the dress is actually dressed. But I think that it's a homemade piece, but oh my gosh, isn't that adorable? That is cute. And then I got this linen. I think this is the only two linens that I got. But it's just a little kitty cat doily with two little blue kitties on it. And I got, this just intrigued me. I don't know. I think it's because it was in the original packaging and I'm a sucker for things that are in their original packaging. But this is a souvenir piece in its original packaging, like I said. But it's a shopping reminder with 12 pegs and the pegs are still in here. It's a wooden, made in Taiwan, a wooden shopping reminder and from Florida. So when you go on vacation, you can, you know, put these pegs in on things that you need to get from the store, like relishes, extracts, starch, you know, all those things that you need. I just thought it was kind of fun. I love souvenir pieces because it just evokes that happy time. You know, when you go on vacation and your parents say, you can pick out a souvenir. I don't know. I just, those things just always kind of evoke that memory for me. I also got this little book here. This is Homes and Flowers, Refreshing Arrangements. This is volume three, but the pictures in here are just great. Um, this is just, I mean, it gives you ideas of how you can set your table setting with different kinds of floral arrangements. But I like to just look at these pictures to just see you know, get ideas of how people were putting their floral decor, decor in these planters and stuff that we find. I mean, look at that. 
But this is, let me look, let me look and see if the date is in here. Because in my mind, I'm thinking, and I paid a dollar for this book. It's 1942, and it's from the Coca-Cola Company. I thought it was a lot of fun. And then I got a Ciroc. Th this is a little different because you think of these Ciroc trays, and they're like, they're very much like they have an Asian theme or a floral theme, sometimes just like a geometric design. This one has frogs on it. It's got the, the, the label on the back, Monterey, California. It's got like this inlay of frogs frogs and this frog is just like that's right we're frogs different maybe nobody will like it but i thought it was unique and different and that's why i liked it oh you know what here's a little linen that i got that i didn't show and it's a little hanky with two not one but two poodas on it yes i love things with animals on them so, I did get that. I forgot about that little linen. I set it aside. I also got some brooches. I did, I did. I got these fun metal floral brooches. Typically, I will buy, like, the metal floral brooches and figural brooches, like, with animals and things on them. And then I got this fun pink and green one. And this pink and green one there. I like to buy those metal floral brooches. A lot of people have been doing things like making wreaths and stuff out of these and they look really nice. All right, I did get some advertising. This was $5. My, let's just take a moment to look at the design on this tin. This Art Deco design, fabulous, isn't it? This will be great for a Halloween display, but this is an Am Amco Dustless Colored Chalk um, American Art Clay Company in Indianapolis. So you could display it that way or that way or that way, use it as a riser. It does open nice so you can still, you know, store things in there as well if you want to, but I just love tins like this. And then that's the only advertisement piece that I got. Hmm. Well, I got some tea bag holders. They want to hold your bags. And these are just little pink and blue. They're exactly the same. You can hang them on your wall if you want. You can lay them flat as a display or you can set them up because they do have a flat bottom. So you could set, set them up as well. They're made in Japan. I thought that they were really fun with that blue and pink together. All right. And I also got this Puda here. Now he has a little bit of wear on his face, but he is a Boston's um, which these Boston's heads can be pretty collectible. This is a poodle. He's got a little bit of wear right there on his face, but look at his little teeth. Oh, on his nose, he's got a little bit of wear, but it is Boston's. They are made in England. These can be pretty collectible, so I just couldn't resist him. He's got a sweet little face. All right, and then I did get this big guy. Now, I did, he was 50% off. He was normally $24. He's Ron Ray. He's huge. This is probably the biggest double bluebird of happiness that I have ever found. It's a big one. Um, this is Ron Ray 1990. This was in a 50% off booth. So I did pay $15 for it. Um, but it's the biggest one that I've seen. So just the two little lovebirds, a nice chonky Bluebird of Happiness paperweight. I got a couple Christmas items. I'm also going to repair this girl as well. She is a composite angel for your Christmas tree. She is composite. And she I do have her wings, but I need to repair them. So she has her light and she has her wings. And you could put her on your Christmas tree. I am going to give her a little bit of a repair. Um, she's got a very short cord on her, so, you know, but that's okay because you would plug this into your light strand, and that's what would give her her power, but she is giving you some side eye, but she is lovely, and I am going to repair her and get her going again so she can be on someone's tree once again. I also got this little angel. She's holding a little candle. She's got a ceramic head and a little spun body. She's a little pick. 
So you can stick her, you can stick her in a vase, you could stick her in a floral arrangement, but she is very sweet. She's in really good condition. She stamped Japan on the back. I love her gold rickrack. And I got this. This is just, I don't, I just, I, I I like Lusterware a lot. I used to have like a little small collection of Lusterware. This I really like. It is this tray here and it's got an owl on it. And in this little spot right here goes the mug. And the mug also has a little owl on it and it just sits right in there like that. A nice little set there with the owl on it. It is marked made in Japan on the bottom of the tray but not on the mug. This is very thin and delicate and just dainty. I think it was lovely. I also got this. This is made in occupied Japan and it is a flower frog. I love the polka dots. Polka dots are fun. It is a little flower frog. So you put stems of flowers in here. I wonder, do you stick in here, little angel? Well, kind of, you kind of stick in there. You kind of lean, but you, you know, you get the, you get the idea. You can put your flowers in here. Um, and I don't know. I just like the shape. I like that it was made in occupied Japan. I've not seen an occupied Japan flower frog before. So I took a chance and I bought this one. This guy, I actually had this taken out of the case. So there's a big, a big thing for me because I, I remembered actually, you know, what happened is the guy that walks around in the red vests. They have red vest guys, and the red vest guys are the ones that have like the master keys. So they just kind of walk around and they help people. And he was walking right by and he helped me. And he helped me get this little cute elephant out of the case. Look at him. He is wearing a tie. He is bisque, but he's fabulous. He is marked Brins, Japan. Oh, he's a pink elephant in a tie. So cute. I love all his little wrinkles on his body. He's pretty cute. He's pretty cute. And then I also got this little girl. Um, she is a Lefton, and she is a Lefton nurse. Now, she kind of looks like she could just, I mean, she's got that big thermometer in her hand. I kind of would think it would be nicer if it was a big needle. That would be fun, because look at her face. Reporting for duty. Bend over. I liked her. She's left in. Let me show the bottom. There she is. A fun little occupational figurine that would be great to give to somebody as a gift if you know a nurse. All right, I'm going to save the shakers to the end. Let me show which this little figurine. This was cute. I had seen this once before in another store and I didn't buy it, but I did get this one. And it is this little boy that's getting his pants chewed off by this dog. But look at that face. Oh, no. Oh, I love it so much. It is made in Japan. And oh, I love him. He is just having a day. It is also marked Japan there on the bottom as well. Just a fun sculpt and a fun paint. I just, I just thought it was so funny. All right, I got this planter. Believe it or not, I only bought one planter. One, that's amazing. But this is a lovely Art Deco planter with this. I want to say that this is a deer. What do you think? You think that's a deer? That's a deer, right? That's not a dog. This is lovely. This is lovely. Now, this is the tag. We'll have to cut that off. But this is just a beautiful planter with this deer on it. Very modern lines on this, the draping on the back, the coloring is beautiful on this. This is saying Shawnee to me, I don't quite know. I will look it up to see if I can find the maker, but um, I thought it was lovely. I love the lines in it. I love the coloring in it. It's flawless. It was a great find. And then I got this little guy. Um, this is an ashtray. This is an ashtray. The cool thing about this is you put your cigarette out in the teepee and then there's a hole in the back that the smoke will come out of. At first I thought it might be an incense burner, which I guess you could still use it as that. It might be actually better to use it as an incense burner, but it's so cute. 
and I think I know someone that might want this, but um, I like that this also had the original sticker from where it was bought. It was bar bought at Ryden's Pigeon River in 1968. Mm, there we go. I just thought it was fun. I like that it's like interactive. You know, the smoke will come out of the of the top of the teepee. And I think these are all plant shakers. Oh, but this is a shaker though. This was the last thing that I found. I was actually in line to check out and there was quite a long line. And so you park your cart and you just kind of walk around at the other booths that are or cases that were there. And this was there. This is blue milk glass. It is a decanter. Um, it is, it has its stopper. The stopper has a little rough edges on the bottom and there are a couple little rough edges in there. This was $15, but it was 50% off. So that was a great price to pay for this decanter. It is just beautiful. This antique blue milk glass, the gold trim on it is in really good condition. A lot of times it's worn off. There are a couple worn places, but oh my gosh, I love this blue milk glass. It's just pretty. That was a great price to pay. I also got this green uranium glass footed cake plate. These are really great. Well, I mean, listen, you can use these to serve your cake on and you should, you should use these. It's not gonna hurt you to serve your food on this and it will look beautiful. But you can also use it as a riser in your own uranium glass display or just a display you know, to, to raise something up a little bit, but it does glow. It does glow. It's hard to see in the light, but it does glow very nicely. There are, this was used at one time because you can see some, some utensil marks on it. There's no chips or cracks on it, uh, but it was $10, which is a great price to, play, to pay. I like the design. It's just lovely. I like to use, I use cake uh, plates as risers all the time. All right, and then the next item I got, this was just fun. I could, this just reminds me of like, just a, a man cave. A guy would have this on his desk. It's a Viking. It's a Viking and he'll hold your pins. Cause he's got a pin holder here and a pin holder here. I don't have a pin hanging around here anywhere, but he will hold your pins and pencils and guard them. For he is a Viking and a warrior. Oh my gosh, he's just fun. I just love this stuff so much. He's made out of wood. He does have his horns and his little spear and his shield. Um, I love this. I think that somebody else will like it too. Who doesn't want a Viking to guard their pins on their desk? Okay, now I'm going to show you this last thing before I start showing you the salt and pepper shakers. I did pay up for this. I paid $24 for this item, but you don't see vintage Valentine items very often. And this was pretty special. It is a little Cupid on a box, on a ceramic box heart. It is made by Lefton. It's in fabulous condition. There, there isn't an issue on this anywhere. I checked it over real good because I paid $24 for it. Um, but here is the inside. It's glazed on the inside. So you could store candies in this if you wanted to. And then the bottom, the little Cupid, his wings are great. His fingers are great. His feet are great. There's no repairs on him. He is just lovely for Valentine's Day. You don't normally find Valentine's. So I was kind of drawn to him. All right, let's do some salt and pepper shakers. I got several. Um, I did get these little Art Deco bowl draped frosted glass with a screen. I love this screen. I love this screen so much. These are nice. Nice little ball um, salt and pepper shakers. I got these little dogs with their little booties up in the air. There we go. Booty ooty ooties up in the air. Little hound dogs with little bows. Very cute. They do not have, you know what? These are not shakers. Hmm. They're just figurines. They're just brothers. They are not shakers. They are marked Japan. Sometimes that happens. You think you're buying a shaker and it's just a figurine. But that's okay because a lot of times we just use the figurines or the shakers as figurines anyway. So that worked. All right. I also got this single shaker because, again, this will be a figurine. It was just too cute to resist. I couldn't, I can't, I have a hard time resisting a good elephant with his trunk up with those pink and gray colors. I'm actually putting together an elephant mystery box. 
So he will probably be one of those things that will be in the elephant mystery box. Little pink elephant won't be. He will be sold on his own. But I do have, I'm compiling an elephant mystery box. So stay tuned for that. And I also got some penguins. Believe it or not, I get lots of requests from people who are looking for penguins. So I found penguin shakers. Aren't they cute? And they are both marked Japan on the bottom and they do have their stoppers. They're in great condition. And then I love these little nuggets. <laughs> they don't have their stoppers. They are marked Japan, but look at how little bitty they are. They're little bitty chefs. They're getting ready to stab their fish to cook it. I, Risha, cook your food with our spear. We'll be right back. Here we go. Bye. They're just chubby little chefs. Cute. I also got these bunnies. I have a lot of bunnies, people who like the bunnies, so I try to find the bunnies when I can. These are also little Japan bunnies, little pink and blue bunnies. They do have their stoppers. I love her little polka dots on her shirt. And then I got some purple bears. I'm always looking for purple things too. Purple bears. And these bears are just thinking, um, what are we going to do today? They got their little thinking finger up in their mouth. Uh, they have their, both have their stoppers, but they're cute little purple bears. And then I got these. Oh, I just thought these were so cute. They're little anthropomorphic. They are wooden salt and pepper shakers, but they've got these little anthropomorphic peas. Look at that. Pepper's got, pepper's taking a nap and salt is wide awake. Pepper's taking a nap. Oh. Aren't they adorable? They're marked Japan. They're in excellent condition. I just thought that they were cute little anthropomorphic peas. And then I got this egg shaker. I thought this was just very mod in like 1970s. It is a orange floral egg salt and pepper shaker. So we've got the orange and yellow and green on there. And then we just take this off and we've got our shakers. We're, okay, the salt comes out the top and the pepper comes out of the egg. They are made by Lego, the original tag. They do both have their stoppers and it's an excellent condition. Just a fun little different, it's like a puzzle putting it together, shaker. And I got some chickens. Now I like to find these shakers when they have their under trays. A lot of times you will find certain shakers and they don't have their under trays anymore and that's fine you can still use them and they're still cute but when they do have their under trays i really I, this is a really cool find for me if this one has the little orange flowers on the side the little chickens do not have their stoppers in them anymore but they just sit in their little tray they're very cute and then the last thing that i'm going to show you today that i bought from exit 76 let me get you ready are these squirrel shakers also on their under tray with their little mushrooms they've got their under tray they've got mushrooms on this side flowers on this side it's marked japan on the bottom they do both have their stoppers and they're very like a majolica looking paint job on these guys they have their stoppers i love that they're sitting on their under tray you can put them either way. If you want them to be in the field of flowers, they can go on one way. If you want them to be in their mushroom crop, they can go that way. They're multi. They're multifunctional squirrels. They can do what you want them to do. That's what I got. That's what I got from Exit 76. Like I said, I spent I, I spent $350, but I, it was a lot of fun. I had so much fun with Michelle. It's a place that I love to go in every once in a while and uh, make sure that you do go in there and check them out. It's a wonderful, very clean and organized store. There's a lot of really fun booths in there. Don't be shy around the locked cabinets because you can still find things in there that not all of the, just only the expensive things are in the cabinets. They have little um, papers that you can carry around and you can actually write down different cases that you see that you're wanting someone to get something out of. So that does help you um, when you're walking around and if you're looking at a lot of things but thank you so much for watching don't forget if you see something that you're interested in you can send me an email thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com and i will let you know if it's still available 
But that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.